we're going to click on display capture. Now, what is display capture? It's pretty simple stuff. It captures the display. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're gonna to be discussing how to start streaming on Twitch. It seems like it's a daunting task. It's not that hard. We're gonna get you set up in like 10 minutes or less, okay? So first off, you're gonna to need to make sure that you have a Twitch account. You're gonna need it so that way you can get in touch with your chat, your viewers, you can see your analytics. And you can have all of that on the Twitch website. Next up, you're also going to need OBS. Now, OBS is a great tool. It's great for people just getting into streaming, and also those who have been doing it for a long, long time. It's open source software so that you can join in and be able to stream from the get-go. To start off with, we're gonna be in Twitch here, and we're gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here, and then I'm going to put in my password. Okay, so now that we've logged in, in the top right corner, you're going to see something that says, it's usually your profile image, right? I have mine as a little blue avatar, okay? You're then going to click on Creator Dashboard. Then you're going to click on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on Settings, and then you're going to click on Stream. We're gonna pause here for a second. You're gonna see something very important. That's called your primary stream key. It is so, so important that you do not let anybody else have that stream key. Think of it like your house key, right? That's what gets you into your home. You don't just give that out to anybody because then they can go in, trash your home, take your Xbox, you don't want that, right? You wanna make sure that you're safe and secure. Don't give this out to anyone. Even in this video, I'm gonna make sure that I don't show it either. So, how do we get around that? How do we make sure that we're safe and secure? You can go ahead and just click copy and it'll bring it to your clipboard. That way, you don't have to ever see it on your screen, you don't have to show it to anyone, you can know that it's safe and secure on your clipboard. Now that we have that, we're gonna make our way over into OBS, as you can kind of see. I already have it downloaded. If you need a download link, you can check it in the description below. So now that we have OBS up here, you're probably like, okay, you see this tunnel effect, but on my screen, I see a blank image. That's okay, that's just because I've set this up ahead of time, and you notice I'm already recording so that I can send you this awesome video, okay? So now, to get yours set up, what you're going to do is you're going to click the plus button in the bottom middle, Okay, then you're going to select video capture device. Okay, if you already have a video capture device set up, you can go ahead and click on it. Like I already have mine that says video capture device one here. Uh, you can also create a new one and set it up that way as well. Once you've done that, go ahead and click okay and it's going to bring up your awesome webcam on the screen. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, I look so beautiful. This is all people want to see in the world. No, no, no. They want to make sure that you're playing the video games like you can and we know that you're so good at them, right? So let's set that up too. This is a major scene where you see that I'm super bright and big on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and resize myself so that I put myself down here in the bottom corner and then I'm going to click on the plus button again. I know, we were just here. We're going to click on display capture. Now, what is display capture? It's pretty simple stuff. It captures the display. <laughs> <laughs> it's just saying, what is on my screen? Show that to everybody that I'm streaming to. Now that we're going to be selecting which display we're going to be showing to the world, it's important to know that there's two different options you can choose. You could either select display capture or you can select game capture. Now, the reason why I like to use game capture is because it only gets that specific game that I'm looking at and nothing else behind it. It doesn't show maybe the script that I was looking for for that stream. It doesn't show what games I plan on purchasing or credit card information or anything like that. And it certainly doesn't show my stream key, which we talked about as so important to keep safe. So if you want, a good way to start off is by using that game capture because in doing so, you'll be able to select exactly what people see, nothing more, nothing less. If you have, again, a display capture already set up, you can click on that. Otherwise, you can click up here at create new. And then you click okay, and then you get that tunnel effect like we just talked about. Now, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I set this up. I had the same tunnel effect that you had a minute ago. Where did my face go? We'll fix that, all right? Think of it like a piece of paper, right? You have layers of these windows showing. Right now, you only have the top layer showing and that's your desktop. We're gonna fix that. Click on the video capture device and you're gonna drag that up above the display. So we can see now, I've got my webcam down in the bottom right hand corner and then I have my video game or my screen in the top left. You can choose to have a game streaming or you can show whatever's on your desktop, whichever your preference. 
My thought is, is I like to just show my game because that's what really what the people are looking for. I'll have my video camera in the bottom right corner or in the bottom left corner because that's usually where information is not super important. If I'm playing Rocket League, maybe that's where my boost is or maybe I, I, if I'm playing Fortnite, I have it where my mats are because that's not as important to the viewers. They want to care about the action that's in the center of the screen. Now that we've got that set up, we need to do some things with that stream key that I mentioned earlier in order to be able to stream. So. Go ahead in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to click on settings. That'll open up a nice new window and you're going to click on stream on the left hand side. Okay, it'll say, what service would you like to use? Today we're talking about Twitch, but you can go and explore other streaming services as well, such as YouTube or Facebook Live. Go ahead and click on Twitch, then you're going to click use stream key. Again, super important, do not give this out to anyone. Okay, now we still have that on our clipboard, right? That's super long stream key. We're gonna press control B. That just pastes it right where we need it to be. It'll come up with all these dots on the screen. That's exactly what we're looking for. Then we are going to click apply. Did everything break? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Nobody's seen our stream key, we're still safe, okay? Then we're going to click okay. And you're going back into OBS. We've got this nice setup. Open up Twitch again by pressing alt tab or by switching to the window. And you're going to click on where it says, on the left hand side, stream manager. And you'll notice, and it says, in the center of the screen, it's like a black screen, and it says stream preview, and it's, it's you know, currently showing offline. That's because we haven't started streaming yet, but we want to make sure everything's connected properly. So on the right hand side, you can edit your stream info to maybe say like, oh, test for marble streams. That's the last thing that I did. Or maybe you want to see test video display. And then you're gonna click done. You can add any tags so that maybe people searching for your video on Twitch can go through and see, oh, I'm really interested in Rocket League. You added that tag. Great, I'll tune into your stream. So now that we've got this here, we still have this black video. What's going on with that? Go back into OBS and you're going to click on that start streaming button. Once you do that though, be aware, you are live to the world. And it's important that you're ready for that. So you click on start streaming, you're fine. Everything's good. In the bottom middle, you see something that says live and how many seconds you've been live, as well as how many dropped frames. If you're getting a lot of dropped frames, you might want to check that out. We'll have a description on how to go through that setup. But in the meantime, go through and check to make sure that it says live at the bottom middle with a blue little icon next to it. If you do, I want you to alt tab back over to Twitch and lo and behold, you are also now streaming live on Twitch and it's working perfectly. So there's plenty of information to be covered in here. Uh, you're gonna see me going through some screen transitions. If you have any information that you wanna get covered or if you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to know more about that I'm showing you here, please feel free to drop a comment. I'll be covering that in another video in just a bit. Ah! Thank you for joining me in this video. Today we covered how to stream on Twitch. We made sure we did it safely by not showing our stream key as well as we set up OBS to show all the stuff we wanted to. Thanks for joining me. Check out our YouTube channel. That's great. Super duper. Ah! Okay.